bright and early this morning, Blue Bell made its triumphant return to North Texas. The Texas based ice cream maker had to shut down production through the summer due to a listeria outbreak. After today's hype, will customers be ready to welcome Blue Bell back? CBS 11's Elizabeth Den, live in Dallas. Liz? Russ, good morning. While a few viewers on Twitter and Facebook told me Bluebell's not exactly their top ice cream pick, most of the responses I got today on this tough assignment came from very happy fans. And sales show that this remains a very popular brand, this Texas brand. And Albertson spokeswoman tells me Bluebell is the top seller, not just at this store, but all of them. And Kroger officials say the same. Phase two of Bluebell is returning, and it began early this morning at more than 2,700 stores in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Businesses in Waco and Oklahoma received shipments today as well. You might remember the Houston and Austin areas were among the first to get Bluebell last August. The Texas company stopped production back in April in light of a listeria outbreak that killed. Killed three people and sickened 10 more. So, from hiring independent microbiologists and then increasing its focus on sanitation to making sure products pass a safety test before being distributed, Bluebell officials say they have made major improvements. A lot of customers are willing to give that ice cream another chance. I think, you know, that's the most important thing to them was to not have any issues with it whatsoever. And that's why we've waited so long to be able to get it back is to make sure there won't be any problems. So I just always have. And that's pretty much the only ice cream that I ever really eat. Bluebell officials tell me 160 furloughed employees are now back at work. That number just here in the DFW area. So right now, only five flavors available at this point, and they come from either the Oklahoma or Alabama plant. Right now, the Brenham plant remains closed, but if it reopens, there's a good chance that could mean that more flavors would roll out. But officials say there's no timeline on when the Brenham production plant will reopen. Live from the White Rock area of Dallas, Elizabeth Den, CBS 11 News.